Controversy this morning over a Facebook post made by the chairman of the Shelby County Democratic Party. CW 30's Gene Fronting working this story for us live at the Shelby County Election Commission. Gene, what did the post say? Well, on the post, Corey Strong calls Republican nominees on next month's general election ballot demonstrably racist, unqualified, and homophobic. Strong urges fellow Democrats to get 15,000 moderate and suburban Democrats to the polls on August 2nd. Now, this post comes on the heels of a decision made by the Shelby County Election Commission last week to start early voting with just one precinct at the Agri Center. On Friday, the commission reversed course and decided instead to open two locations, one in White Haven and one in Germantown. Shelby County Republican Chairman Lee Mills issued a statement calling on Democrats to condemn their chairman, adding as usual the Democratic Party leads the race to the bottom by name calling, labeling, and outright lying about Republican candidates. However, Strong says his post was taken out of context. I was speaking to some of the people in it, but the thing is, is this, if you have one person on your slate that you're supporting, if, if one of them is racist, and that's okay, that's one too many. One person that says something that's inappropriate is one too many. No further action has been taken for this post, but of course, as this story develops, you will be the first to know. Reporting live in East Memphis, Gene A. Francine, CW30 Morning News.